Hello everyone, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and here we are, the defense of Carthage. Let's begin. So we'll assault. And it's very unlikely that we'll win this battle. We are outnumbered, I think it's something like 10 to 1. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be an insane battle nonetheless. Look at that, nearly three thousand allies reinforcing. The Masaili and Libya teaming up against Carthage. And I'm going to be wiped out from Carthage by the looks of things. This is where I lose my holdings in Africa for now. But I, like I said in the previous video, it's not the end of the world if I do lose some of these Mediterranean provinces. As long as I keep something that I can build upon. So if I have one or two provinces in Iberia but nothing left in the Mediterranean, that doesn't matter because I can easily build up in a more consolidated um, area of the map. The problem with Carthage is that they are so spread out so early on. Right then, here we go. I uh, can't see where my enemy's coming from, unfortunately. So we'll begin this battle. Find out where they're coming from. Where are they coming from? Show your faces, scum. Show your faces. Right, they're coming from... The navy's coming from over here. Going to need to defend the navy. Got my own ships. Three ships. Don't stand a chance, do they? Bring them forward. Where's their army? Ah, oh, there they come, I think. They're coming from over this gate by the looks of things. Yeah, they come. Need to defend this gate, so. Mob units, get your asses up there. Ah! Up the days! Get your asses in front of the gate. Get, just get yourselves up there. I'll sort it all out after. Let's get your beautiful asses up there. Defend the gate. My general, where are you, general? You could be up here as well. Does this, this city look different? This doesn't look like Carthage, does it? Hang on, where's the port? Oh, it's because, I know why, because I haven't upgraded it. So I don't have like the big roof and stuff. I see, that's quite cool actually, I didn't notice that before. In the historical battle, you don't see any of this, do you? Hmm, interesting, I never noticed that. Maybe I should have. Right. Quick reload, you scum. Our aim is to try to take out as many of these ships as possible. <laughs> we won't win, but we can hold them back. And let's have a look at the uh, the uh, Masaili army. They are indeed coming to... Oh, i got two gates over here. Look at this, i got to defend both these gates. And for some reason my army is nonchalantly walking to these gates. Mob can go here then, in that case. I have no uh, missile troops, which is a big, big disappointment for this battle. I need missile troops. Oh, what's happening over here? Where are we routing? Just kill. Kill, kill, kill. Looks like we're gonna sink. The gods are with us. The gods are with us. Scumbag. Botto Tower. <laughs> ah, we've lost, haven't we? I told you we would. It's uh, always gonna happen. It doesn't matter though. We do have my beautiful war elephants. We'll bring up here. Riders at the double. Riders at the double. Libyan Hoplites, they're gonna attack both gates, the sneaky bastards. I can't exactly go anywhere down there, mind. Set this unit up here. Set this one up. They're gonna try and blob in once they do get through. So we're gonna counter blob them with our own blob. Problem is, I need to have try to even this out. The elephants could probably come down here in this case. We'll have mainly, uh, what are they called? Phalanx kind of infantry over here. We'll have one phalanx over here with elephants plus mob units. As a matter of fact, they're, they're actually ignoring this gate, so I can probably take the phalanxes out and take them here to this gate instead. They've ignored this gate for some reason. They're all going to concentrate on the one gate. Biggest problem I got is I'm going to be outflanked completely by these ships. Although they have got to go around here and then break into the gate. It's going to take them ages. Who knows? Who knows indeed? Anyway, here they are, the Masai Ely tribe. We are shooting with our towers, taking one of them out. Hold the gate for as long as possible. Get the peasants up there, because <laughs> nobody likes to defend cities as much as peasants. 
Speed man ready. Advance at speed. Elephants in position. Libyan hopeless air units. Come on, hurry up. Just get into position. Let's bring them all back slightly because they're going to be useless in the fight. Uh, bring them to the left flank over there. I'll try to try to organize this line. Oh, they're going to burn the gates down. Look at them. Sneaky bastards. Burning my gates. Right. You're going to be the lucky guys. They're going to get the brunt of this. In front. You guys there. You guys there. You guys there like so. Where's my fifth one too? I appear to have lost a unit. Where, oh, he's kind of there. Let's see, one, two. Stick them onto phalanx once they get through. The mob's going to be useless. We could put them on the steps, I think. Can charge down if need be. Can run back up if they're going to attack there. But they're going to attack this one by the looks of things. They're burning the gate down. The gate is going to be gone within a matter of seconds. Stick all these into phalanx. Oh, this unit can't go into phalanx. It can go into shield wall though. Should be helpful. My elephant's going to stay behind and shoot into them and then charge when need be. Elephants are quite overpowered in this game, so they might be looking at quite a few kills. Oh, here they come. They're actually into my city already, look. Look at this. The mob could go down to help, I think. Mind you, they've got to take three capture points. I may have time. One's up here, one's over here, and one is over here. It's a pity you can't get up here. I hate the fact that they kind of showed all this sort of scenery off in the in the actual trailer, the first gameplay trailer, and then and like they gave the impression in that trailer that you could actually, you know, have a last stand up here and deploy like units up on the hill by here and through. look at this. You, you even got a gate that can get through to it, and you can't even deploy up on this. Look how much land is on you. Basically, all of this part of the battle is just for scenery, which is stupid. I just. I'm just a bit disappointed with it. I just think that you know it could have been done done differently. Anyway, our Libyan friends have all deployed over here. What have they got actually? Javelin men. We could actually take them out. The mob's gonna deal with them. They're the only two they've deployed this side of the wall. <laughs> Sound like Game of Thrones now. Um, these units are gonna be fired upon. Look at this. They've lost 27. Only got 27 left. But they're going to lose men, so I'm not too worried about that at the moment. We're going to concentrate on the wall over here. The gate. 66, only 66%. God, they're slow, aren't they? Or that. We're going to actually bring... Bam ourselves in, like so. This will be my fallback line of Hoplites, I think. <laughs> what a beautiful phalanx I have created. Bring them forward slightly. I can't wait to see them try to blob through this. They probably will though. There'll be units that actually get through this, which in real life would never happen. They'd get completely beaten back. You know, a la 300. Melee. <laughs> I like the fact they call themselves melee infantry. The mob. They have like a a steak knife as a as a weapon. But they call themselves Melee Infantry, and I'm not going to disappoint them. They're not actually doing anything, Libya. They're sitting here. Are they getting shot? They are getting shot at by my tower. Oh my god, the AI is so dumb. Look at this. They've lost all these men. I'm actually going to zoom in on this crap, because look at this. Oh, he's on fire, and he's dying on top of his friend. They're confident as well. I wouldn't be confident standing there. In the sun, getting shot at. They lose losing men, that's fine. The rest of their infantry is getting shot at over here. The Libyan javelin men, oh, fire. They're dying. They're dying, every other unit. Oh, the other unit's dead by the looks of it. And they, right, Libya's not doing anything, so don't even think about Libya. I'm still gonna send these guys down in case. They can obviously hold the capture point. Have they got through the gates yet? It's taking the time, 85%. They're moving away with this army. Is the AI being smart here? We shall see. It looks like they're going to try to... Oh, I, don't, I don't get this at all. They've 
burning the one gate down and now they're going to go for the second gate. Is it smart? Is it dumb? Oh, they're turning around. They're turning around. They don't know what they do. Oh, they're coming back. They are coming back. Uh, I know why they're doing this. They're going to feign trying to go for one gate then go for the other. But they actually put all this effort into this one gate. They may as well go through it. The thing is though, they again completely shot the pieces by my towers. It's one of the things with defending a city in this game though. It's so easy. Especially if you've got phalanxes. I mean this battle would be a lot easier for me if I did have, say now those mob, four mob units, if I had four skirmishing troops instead, then this battle would be so much easier. And it looks like they've moved er everything up now to this wall. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. Bring the hoplites forward, bring the elephants there. Spearmen. Go there. Hoplites! And at the moment I can't get the formation right. All I'll have to do. One, two, three. Oh, so many, so much spam. Libyan infantry. Right, can you guys run for me? If you guys run. I'm trying to get them into formation. The elephants are there as well. Uh, I have a tower over here, tower there, tower here, I should get some more shots in, send the spearmen in this time. They're getting shot at, they're losing some men as they make the long arduous trip to this, to this uh, gatehouse. Orders. Oh, Jesus, I hate the spamming in this game. I'm trying my best to get these men into some sort of formation and look at this, they're just spraying them all over the place at the moment. Balamoon doesn't know what he's talking about anymore. Come on, just get your asses up there. Hold this gatehouse for me. At speed! At speed. Oh, look at that. Massive blob. Blobbing our way to victory. I probably do. Get your ass into the phalanx. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful indeed. Let's bring these guys into a formation which actually looks half decent. Oh, I don't want to go on the walls. What are you doing? They're at the gas. Right. Go behind there. We should be okay. How are the gates going? 87 Oh, 89. They're going to get through this time. They're actually going to get through this time. I can't believe it. They sent more up this time though. Oh, the arrows are still raining down upon them. I might be able to beat this back. It doesn't look as big now, does it? Especially seeing as a lot of them are depleted as well. So, we'll wait and see. They are through the gates, though. So, we're going to have to... We are indeed going to have to fight them back. I could just send the elephant in now, but... You know what? I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to try to blob them to death. I oh, see. I hate this uh, pathfinding. I want to get a unit on the left flank by here to cover this side for when they blob through there. But unfortunately, this unit won't. Look at this. It's not deploying. Oh, I can get them there. Oh, that'll do. If we can get up quickly, push through all my men <laughs> like they're queuing for the bus. Are oh, they gonna just throw men at me? Now, a smart AI would actually sit. Well, not sit this skirmishing because they get shot to death, but. They wouldn't engage right away, they tried to pepper me down, weaken me first. But this is not a smart AI, this is a semi retarded AI. Oh, here they come, the African tribes, beware the African tribes. Huzzah! Oh, look at them, in their little uniforms. Scared the shit out of me, right. Spearmen? Bring the elephants forward. That's how I roll. I'll give some inspiration in a second. Men of Carthage, hold your ground and kill all the fuckers that try to get through my gate. Here they go. Oh, look at this. The elephants are shooting as well. Elephants are doing me. Oh my god, they got fire arrows. Right, here they come. Here come the spam. Here come the mobs. Are they going to actually spam through? That is the main question. Oh, one of them's dropped in already. Wavering. The men are wavering. Right. We're killing him. We're killing them. Oh, they're spamming through. Look at this shit. 
I like the fact my men just cheer him and just take in their arrows like real men. Um, oh, look at this map. There's some men. Libyan javelin men have walked all the way around by the looks of things. Um, where's my... Oh, look at this. Mob can charge the javelin men. I've actually... Yeah, the mob are chasing them down is fine. They haven't got a clue what they're doing, to be honest with you. And we're doing fine over here. Oh, we're routing many of them. I would zoom in closer, but my frames per second will drop drastically if I do. I know what we will anyway. Look at this. Oh, it's blood on the wall. Oh my god, this is just embarrassing. How on earth can... Oh, I just don't know what to say. I haven't even used my war elephants yet. They're just sitting there on their elephants, like, uh, kicking ass basically with their arrows. Two of them are routing. What other special abilities have I got? These aren't even in phalanx. <laughs> I didn't even put one of them in phalanx. Oh, look at this, they're closing right in now. Right, they're all in phalanx by the looks of it. They're just gonna get shot to pieces. Oh, don't let them in. What are they doing? They're letting them in. No, they're not. Oh, it's embarrassing to watch. <laughs> and there's actually men running away the side of the wall. Do you know what? If I keep recruiting a few hopped to units, I'll probably never lose Carthage. I'm probably speaking too soon. They are blobbing through. Look at this. Look at this shit. They're blobbing through. The men are shaking their asses. I see you, baby. Shaking their ass. Oh, my God. I can't. I'm, I'm actually feeling sick watching this right now. So dizzy. Ooh, look at that. That javelin just flew off my elephant. Oh, my men are just charging forward now. They've had enough. I like the fact there's blood on the wall, except the texture looks a bit crap. Look at that, buddy. Doesn't look very good, does it? You wouldn't think this was extreme. Balance of power is still against us, but we are killing men. Balhamon guard us! Balhamon be praised. We're pushing them back. That's the scary thing. I'm actually going to bring this unit forward. Let's just drive them forward, grind them. I mean, what I was going to do is, if I lost these men, they actually got through. I was going to charge the elephant in as a last resort, but I don't even need to do that. They're just throwing men away. They've even got Libya trying to throw some men towards me over here. The javelin men. Oh, and the game is gone completely jittery at the moment. Look at this. Jittery running. Who would have thought it? i5 processor, GTX 770, 2 gig, 16 gig of RAM. And my men are jittering all over the place. Thank you, CA. <laughs> Just lagging like hell at the moment. I don't know what's wrong. What about over here? Should I go to this side of the battlefield? And no improvements over here either. Just game has gone awful slow. Group these up. Um, not much I can do with these uh, these mob units. I'm just going to put them in the center for now. When the game allows me to. Because the game is probably going to crash on me any second. Oh, we're capturing the tower back again. Push them right back. You no, know I'm going to speed this battle up because I'm not actually doing anything apart from sitting there with my men. But the game has just gone completely... This happens sometimes when with uh, siege battles, but... I think it's because of the amount of units on the battle map. I mean, I, I know I didn't have many, but the AI had loads. It's irritating, though. It's a bit of a game breaker because I can't actually concentrate on on the fighting at the moment. I'm having to just sort of talk and keep my men there, like I'm doing, which isn't ideal. Let's get the old inspiration going. Let's inspire one of my u many units. I'll go for my. One of these. They've been hopped the days. Oh, why are you jittering like this? Anybody know any way which I can cure this kind of jittering on big battles? Please let me know in the comments, because this is just awful. Look at this. My man just jittering forward. Bloody dee, bloody da. My computer should be able to handle this. But. It's like I said, it's funny I called it before it even happened. I said I'm not going to zoom in by here because it'll cause uh, the game to go a bit jittery. And look what's happened. The game's gone jittery. It's embarrassing. 
play. Try normal speed. See, this is normal speed. And look how jittery he is. Fast forward. It's only improved the speed slightly. I don't know what it is. Just hoping to get this battle done and dusted now because it's doing my head in on this kind of jittery setting. So I, I tell you what, I'm going to zoom out to the corner of the map and then see if it improves. I've done it once or twice before and it's actually helped a lot. So we go over to here, put on normal plate, and the ocean still looks a bit jittery. Yeah, it does. I was hoping that would clear up a few things. But I'm mistaken by the looks of things. Ugh, so irritating when this happens. I think it's curing itself a little bit. Not quite as jittery, although it is still a bit jittery. I like the fact they're only now moving their javelin men. They've been camping on this on this banking for most of the battle after destroying my navy. Which is quite funny. How are we doing over here? We're actually pushing through now. We're actually outside the gate. The elephants are firing with flaming shots. Ah, we're going to win this easily, you'd think. battle's been going nearly 20 minutes as well, and I haven't even lost a unit yet, so, you know. You wouldn't think it's very hard, would you? This is very hard difficulty. But it's not like Shogun. I liked, what I like with Shogun 2 was very hard, legendary, was actually very hard or legendary. You'd have multiple clans waging war on you, and you had to really think about it on the battle map. And you couldn't, you couldn't make one tactical error. You made one tactical error, you'd be paid... You know, you'd be made to pay. Whereas in this, it doesn't really feel like it. And it, there's no real tactics to this, is it? Let's be honest. I mean, I'm turning this part into a bit of a review with the battle system at the moment. But I do apologise. But bear with me. But, yeah, you know, this isn't really tactical, is it? All I've done is just take my hop the tays, put them at the wall, and put them into phalanx. I, I don't have to do anything else with this battle. I can take my hand off the mouse like so, and the battle will be won. That's all I've had to do. You know, and the AI doesn't really help. Okay, they attempted to go for this gate here. They go to 85%. Now, what the AI should have done is burn that gate down, but also burn this gate down. Go through the one gate, go through the other gate. That would have thinned my forces. I couldn't be in two places at the same time with the amount of hop that I got. Granted, I might get a better them on one flank, but they'd actually break through on the other. And then, when they break through, they can go for the capture points down there, over there. They can go for my general. But, of course, this is a hu human player. Um, kind of philosophy. The AI doesn't think like like we do. Although, if in a hundred years' time the, the world has been taken by robots and you are watching my YouTube video, then I do apologise. You probably got your heads in some sort of jar, and there's probably aliens flying around the sky right now. But <laughs> uh, it's late. I do apologise. It is late. I am quite tired, and this kind of jittery business is doing my head in. Right, the play. Please not jitter. Oh, they're jittering. Come on. Stop spazzing out on me. Just jittering all over the place. It's not fair. Ugh. Right, we're doing well. My Libyan infantry. Holding the line. Attack the javelin member there. They've only got skirmishers left. If only I had some cavalry. You know what? The general's coming out. The general wants to play. Toggle melee, come on. There we go. Finally got there in the end. We're going to actually charge the general forward. Deal with them. I don't know how I'm going to deal with them over here, though. <laughs> Where are they gone? Are they still camping? Oh, no, they're coming forward. Look at this. They are making their way slowly. We've got 78 out of 80 and... 78 out of 80. Both of them. But they're only javelin men. And by the time they break through one of these... By the gate, they'll get shot to pieces, more or less. The mob could probably deal with them. As a matter of fact, I'm going to bring the mob up to this this gateway, because that's the only gate they can actually attack. I do wish I had one or two more ships, because I'd love to shoot from the ocean to those ships at the moment. I should have probably kept my ships at the rear of the battlefield and either let them come to me or you know, vice versa. But anyway, um, how are we doing? Where are my war elephants? This slowly jittering towards the gateway and they shall be with my enemies very soon 
But as you can see, the balance of power is strongly in my favour now. I'm doing very well. Even though I haven't actually had to do an awful lot. I mean, I, I like field battles, don't get me wrong. I do like the field battles in this game. Especially since they go to that stupid capture the flag thing. But yeah, you know, the game has... Has improved to some degree. What's over here? Ah, they say general. Botto. You know, it has improved in a lot of aspects, but this an awful lot. I mean, I know, okay, I'm recording, so that's going to take a few, take a bit of a hit to my frames per second, but it should never jitter like this. This is just terrible. Out comes my general to wipe them up. So I've dealt with this army here. I'm going to bring one of these units forward, take them out of phalanx take him towards the gateway. I think I can probably take them all over here. They're all running away, aren't they? Apart from this one unit which is wavering. Um, how can I improve the performance on this? Oh, it's just so irritating. I mean, look at this. You can barely watch it. It's just, I, know, I do apologise. This is probably going to be horrible to watch on YouTube, but what am I supposed to do? It's just jittering like hell. And it's like I said, I got a decent graphics card, I got a decent um, CPU, I got a decent RAM, 16 gig RAM. I'm playing 1920 by 1080 monitor. So it shouldn't be any issue. I'm well within the specifications. I've actually got a decent spec. And I'd never get this on Shogun 2, even on ultra um, visual settings, the game wouldn't play like this. Let's fast forward again, because this is doing my head in right now. The glitching is unbearable. What I might do, I might actually skip the rest of this battle now and meet you all on the campaign maps. Right everybody, I'm back, and as you can see, we've won the battle. It took me literally 10 minutes for this battle to end because the lag was so bad. And look, I even had to adjust my graphical settings and put it all onto low settings. So we can end the battle there. And as you can see, 20 minute battle, we did eventually prevail. But that was just so frustrating. The fact I had to play around with different settings for ages, dropped it all to low. Even when I put it on low, it was still lagging. It took literally forever to sort that out, but here we are, and I'm going to kill them out of spite. But we defended Carthage successfully, that's the important thing. Oh, and Libya are just going to be bastards and blockade me again. But screw them and all they stand for. And... Here we are. Increase in rank, hidden agent exposed, port settlement blocked, slums, fuel shortage. But I'm going to end the episode there, so I hope you enjoyed. I do apologise again for that battle, but there's not more I could do. Until next time, goodbye.